Hello there, my name is Josephine Nern and I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator. Today we are um, using, or should I say, I am using the embossing um, folder, which is the brick wall, 6x6, which I really, really love. Um, I know that on YouTube there's been quite a few um, demonstrations with this. But I needed a male birthday card for my brother and for my uh, father-in-law. So I decided to use the big wall and um, with the stamps, gorgeous grunge. So it looks like the wall's been basically splattered with paint. My father-in-law is a painter and de decorator, so I thought it would be apt. And um, you can bling it up. I bling this up a little bit, but um, obviously... For a mail card, you wouldn't bling it up so much. And then inside, again, I've used the splats. So as I say, we're using Gorgeous Grunge. Um, for the happy birthday, I've actually taken from Sky's the Limit, and I know that you can't order that no more. But I'm sure that you've got anything out there, a happy birthday that um, sentiment that you can actually use um, for the brick wall. I will be putting on um, my blog my two... Um, birthday cards that I made for my dad and for my brother who was 60 um, so that you can have a look at those as well. So to start with um, I've actually used um, I 12 by um, 6 cardstock and folded it in half. Now you can get any of these um, cards from any store so um, in packs just to save you time and especially with the lovely edge. I've then come in with Real Red and this is uh, this is the paper that I got at Christmas so I've been using bits and pieces from my crafty stash and this is a five and a half by three quarters and I want to um, glue this down it's just so that my brick wall is going to lift off the page um, so you can actually see it. So it's not. We're not going to be using this as the main element of the card because we want to really see the reds in the brick wall. Okay. But I'm sure that all of you out there have got something from your crafty stash, right? So then I'm going to put that to one side and bring in cardstock. My cardstock measures four and seven eighths because. Um, my actual card is uh, six, six by six, but I wanted it just a bit smaller and then obviously to layer onto my real red. Now, I'm going to take the splats from the Gorgeous Grunge. I'm not too sure whether this is gonna carry over to our new, um, our new catalog in June, but I hope so because there's some loads of useful, um, and I love this set, I really, really do. So, so taking my splats one, the smaller splats ones, I'm going to use real rink, real rink, real red ink, and then basically randomly, and I think my real red ink needs to be re-inked. Then using my st uh, stamping scrub, obviously clean, and then we're gonna go in with Island Indigo for the blue. And do you know what yeah, I always say out there, it doesn't really matter, we're going to be running this through embossing folder anyway. And then I'm going to use Daffodil Delight. I'm going to cheat a bit as well today, just so this can be a really, really quick and easy card. So, as you can see, um, inked it all up. Pop it in the uh, embossing folder, sandwich it together, and pop it through your big shot. Now, here's one that I've done earlier to save time. As you can see, I'm gonna bring my card in, and we are going to stick this down round about there. Um, very, very quick and easy card, and um, I do want to use um, another another time use this embossing file and use some lovely uh, flowers that we've got. So as if flowers are going up the side of the wall, but 
because this is predominantly, well I thought, a male card. So stick that down with Tombow glue, okay? Hopefully it's okay. Then inside, again, we are going to do some splodges of paint because I think it's great to do splodges of paint. So I suppose you could do this for a female card, um, a uh, teenager, and put 16 on it. As I say, on my blog, which is jollycrafting.blogspot.co.uk, you will see that I will put on there my brother who was 60 and my father-in-law. So that's the inside of the card, which marries up with the outside. Just put, pop that to one side while I bring in some spare um, spare paper card. Now I'm going to stamp my happy birthday onto here. And just stamp it. It's quite a nice simple little happy birthday but I'm sure you guys out there you've got um, any type of birthday sentiment that you want to put that's it and again using my scallop um, oval punch and punching out oh do you know what I've forgotten my scissors but what I'm going to do is um I'm going to tear, because I can. I'm going to tear off. So we're crafting on the hoof here. Right, a little bit of Tombow glue. And I'm sure you guys, look at me, tearing bits off. But you know what, even if you're away on holiday and just took some card, you wouldn't actually need just scissors if you've forgotten them. Because tearing is really, really cool as well. well. I think so anyway. This is just gonna. There. Right. And then we're gonna pop some dimensionals on there. Just to lift it up. And I'm sure that you've seen I've done a little smudge there. So do you know what? I'm going to cover that up with this birthday um, message. There. Happy birthday. Now I think, I don't know about you, but they're both. That's really, I bring that up a bit, but very masculine. If it was for a 16th birthday, you could actually have a number 16 here. Um, but what I wanted to show you was the actual embossing file and how obviously I come about this. I hope you've enjoyed um, my YouTube uh, video. Pop along to my blog, jollycrafting.blogspot.co.uk. <gasps> I never get um, it right. I always get it a bit uh, <laughs> tongue twister as such. Um, yeah, pop along there. Thank you very much for watching and uh, hope to see you very soon. Bye for now. God bless.